Guys, Kev here, and I have an interesting one for you. <laughs> so, uh, Ant Design, who makes the S Nano, uh, one of my favorite products, they offered to send me a um, quick release keychain that they uh, that they make sell. And I was like, sure, I haven't checked out your quick release. I'll check that out. And this showed up. So I didn't just get one quick release. I apparently got 10. <laughs> then I got this, which I don't know what's in here. And then I got this, which says S Nano, but I don't think there's an actual S Nano in there. So I don't know what's going on here. We're going to get into it. But if this is 10 different ones, well, then I guess, you know, you guys watching probably have a good chance of getting one of these because <laughs> I'm not keeping them all. That's for sure. So let's get into it. Let's check out these two things first. Uh, this is the, uh, let me get a knife. I'm going to grab the uh, Kaiser Mercury. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of this knife on the channel. I adore this thing. I'm probably going to do a disassembly next um, just to see and just to show you guys um, the amazing machining on this product. And uh, yeah, so anyway, to pop this open, what I like to do is just slide the old blade in, especially if you have a thinner, uh, thinner knife like this, you can just slide it in and turn and it'll pop up. And that way you can keep from ripping your shit. Of course, then you got to stick your fingies in there. I don't know if I can drag it out with this. Nah. <laughs> Getting a little too fancy. Let's see. Can we shake it? Yeah. All right. Oh, it was upside down. So this is an S Nano case, but there's no way this is an S Nano. So let's just see what they threw in here. We're going to be ripping a lot of stuff apart. Oh, is that glow material or something? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What this be? What this be, yo? No, that's a level. What? There's a level in there? Is it accurate is the question. Let's see. This table. Oh, you can't see. I'd say that's pretty close. I mean, this table is probably not perfectly level, right? I mean, it's going to be... That is level, it says, right there. Eh, could be. I mean, I believe it. All right, what's in here? So these aren't quick releases. These are something else. They're just showering me in, in stuff here. <laughs> oh, no way. Is that... Wait. Oh, I thought that... Oh, I think this is... Is it tritium? Oh, uh-oh. Okay, so this opens up. Got a little spring in there. Interesting. Uh, uh, uh. And then you can put a little vial in there. And that comes out. Okay. So I think this is not real um, tritium. I think it's almost like a little glass breaker on there. I think this is just um, the glow material that you have to actually uh, light up. I'm trying to find the, yes, I was tightening backwards. That's how you find the uh, thread. But let's take a look. I mean, I'll cut the lights real quick. I know we're two minutes into the video, but hey, what are you going to do? So, that is definitely lit up right now. It looks way brighter on camera. That's insane. Now, will that fade is the question. Let's see if I can get it to glow brighter by torching it. Nope. I think that's real tritium. I don't know why I questioned that. But um, that's cool, and that's definitely, like, going on my keychain or something. 
Turn these lights back on. All right. So that's cool. I'm pretty stoked on that one. It's bigger, but I mean, I could remove one thing off my keychains, like the toothpick I never used, titanium toothpick, and put this on there. I'd use this more in the dark, you know? So let's put that here. We have one more in here. So I think this was just like a, a little care package they put in with the other stuff. Are these tweezers? Look at that. Little tweezers you could hang on your keychain. So they have everything that you can hang on your keychain. I will link uh, Ant Design, guys, down below. You can see this little blister from when I installed a sliding door and pinched it out of myself. Um, they have, I guess, a page on their website just full of cool little uh, keychain items. This says Ant Design right there. And these are actually pretty good tweezers. Um, yeah, I like them. So let's see, are they titanium? Get my handy dandy uh, magnet pen. They're not steel. Pretty sure all of this is titanium. But there's three options right there. I mean, you have a uh, tritium vial, a level. I don't know why you would need a, a mini level, but hey, it's pretty cool. Um, and then you have a tweezers. Let's see what's in here. It's another sort of random box. I'm guessing these are all going to be quick releases. Oh, this one's a little disc thing. It's like a fidget or something. we got a bunch of rings. I don't want to lose these. So let me just kind of dump these out here. We're missing a ring. Two, three, okay. One of them didn't come with a ring, I guess. That's okay. Looks like we have enough extras. <laughs> Ugh, this is fun. I know I got the camera angle really high, but that's because I had all this stuff. I can zoom in. Oh, a compass. Cool, dude. No, no way is it. This is a bad idea, right? Putting a magnet near it. Does that ruin it? Or is that just... It's titanium. Um, I do know the front of my house faces south, so let me just check that real quick. Yep, get on dead nuts, baby. Dude, this is freaking sweet. This is really well made, too. You got these two little prongs there so you can tighten, loosen. You could probably even use these tweezers for that. Well, no. Nah. How cool is that? So far, that's awesome. I would love a bunch of these different colored tritium vials, but let's get into this. So we have aluminum and green. Let's check that one out first. Again, you can go to Ant Design's website to check this stuff out. I'll go grab a couple other things I have from them, and that way we can do a whole little ant design video here so this is probably going to be your key rings yeah these are your key rings so i'll open this on this one so you guys can see but i don't want to be opening it on every one here and just you guys know what uh key rings look like and apparently they're hard to open too there we go yeah they're just basic key rings Two big ones, which is nice. It's also what she said. And then we got this guy. Green aluminum. And this is their quick release, guys. I'm excited to check this out because I love a good quick release. The one I've been using lately is from uh, Prometheus Design Works. Now, I don't know if these are magnetic. That's a big thing if they're magnetic because, well, we'll see. It looks like it has a barrel that you pull back. Like that. That's pretty cool. So, I think there is... A, yep, it is magnetic. And then it's retained. So, it's not just magnetic. So, I think... The reason I don't like magnetic quick releases, per se, 
is because it does this. It starts attracting all your stuff. Your keys bunch together. But it looks like they're trying to avoid that by adding these little detents in there. So the magnet is really just to pull it in, right? It'll pull it in, make sure it lines up, and then you just pop it together. And now you can't get it apart until you just pull back on that, which makes sense to me. Um, so there's the aluminum and green. Let's just, uh, <laughs> that compass is going bonkers now. Let's just rip through some of these. We have uh, black aluminum. So this is going to be very similar. Try to line these up so I don't have to do a bunch of work to put them back. So here's black aluminum. Again, you just pull and you pull apart. Now, I'm guessing that, uh, was the other one brass in the middle? Yes. And hey, you could mix and match these if you wanted to. So you could take the aluminum, well, depending on the magnet. Yep. You could take that, pop that in. Now you got green and black. So you could mess around a little bit if you wanted to. Um, yeah, it's feeling pretty damn secure. All right, let's check the next one. This one's going to be aluminum in blue. That would be my jam. I'm hoping we get some of the cool ones. I'm seeing Timascus on here. Ultim on here. I would love to see some Ultim or Timascus, but I'm guessing we're going to get a lot of the aluminums, steels, stuff like that. Uh, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh, that's slick looking. That blue looks nice. Look at that one. Nice blue. Brass on the inside. Nice magnet. Pops together really well. Doesn't come apart. Q1. Very cool. Next up, we have another aluminum. This one's in black. So this is another black aluminum. Uh, just in case, I, I guess I'll... Just in case somehow it is different. I'm guessing it's just going to be the same thing. As soon as I see it, I'll know. Yep, just black aluminum. Okay, put that back. Come on, give me some wild ones here. Aluminum red. Man, it got me all hyped with the Ultim and stuff. Here's the red. That looks pretty slick, too. Pretty slick on the red. Again, brass on the internals. Pops together like so. So we got Christmas colors. We got police colors. We got it all. This one's titanium, baby. All right. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We got titanium. You know I'm going to have to keep one. So let's see that tie, baby. Give me that tie. Is it stonewashed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Moto. This is my jam right here, baby. Look at that. That's slick, man. That's going to go pretty well with my tritium vial, my compass. My keys are going to be rattling, baby. They're going to be rattling. <laughs> Sorry. Same brass insert. Same magnet. Do you notice a weight difference? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little extra 
heft. Not a lot, but a little. This one is uh, aluminum red. Come on, baby. Uh, aluminum blue. Come on, baby. Titanium again. Damn it. Come on. Give me an Ultim. Ah. Damn it. Well, boys, we had a good run. We had a good run. Um, I would have loved to have seen the Timascus or the Ultim. Um, it's interesting that they sent me so many of these. A bunch of different ones, but then sent me a bunch of duplicates. Um, seems like maybe they just chucked them. They just poured them into a bag and sent them. <laughs> ah, damn it. I really wanted to see the Ultim one. That would have been slick. Now, magnets are tough with Ultim. It usually sucks, but... So I can tell you right away which one's staying with me. It's going to be uh, titanium, that's for sure. Um, and then I can test it out, let you guys know what I think. Because the one I have, I really love the one I have. You see, it's a little marred up in there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me check this one. This one's okay. It's got a, it must just be patina on the brass or something. I don't know. This one. Nah, they're both great. Okay. Okay. Um. Tuck that away. So let me grab the uh, other things I have from them. Uh, so, zoom in a little. Here are the two other items I have from them. This is the S Nano. This is uh, my favorite fidget slider. And you can get it with tritium vials. So um, you can order the little tritium vials put in there. You can order the plates that don't have that. You have options when you order this, which is pretty cool. Um, it comes in Zerk, Stainless, and Thai. Um, the Zerk is like 110 bucks, So it does not break the bank. The Stainless is like 60 And the Thai is like 90 So... Um, it's a very, I think, affordable fidget for what it is. You see sliders like this. Look up the Mackie CP3. Find a Zerk one of those for $109, and uh, I'll give you a prize. So, because you won't, unless it's on secondary. But this thing is fantastic. It also slides both ways. It's got really good positive clicks. Definitely my favorite track slider um, that I've tried in a long time. And then they have the N Power, which is a, a little multi fidget. This guy is a spinner, as you can tell. She spins. And then it also ratchets, has a uh, ratchet coin feature. You can adjust that to have stronger or weaker ratchets. Um, and then you can also remove the center, um, uh, area here. So you don't have the buttons or the, or the, uh, bearing in there for the spinner. And then you can like put it through your finger as a ring and kind of ratchet it around like that, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of a multifunctional, um, fidget. They also have the comma and the comma 2.0 is one of their multi fidgets. That one just wasn't for me. Um, but this one wasn't for me either. And then I had it around and just kept playing with it. And now I, I really love it. Um, I just had to get used to where to put my fingers because I would always kind of stop it like that because it's such a small button. Um, it's for smaller hands for sure. But once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. Um, so that's the N power and the, uh, S nano. Both should be available on their website, Ant Design Official. I'll link it down below. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. Now, obviously, they were kind enough to send me all this stuff. Um, so I do thank them 
for that. And uh, I'll be giving away uh, this stuff. You'll see it if you guys watch my live streams on Thursday nights and every other Saturday. Uh, you'll have the chance to uh, win some of this stuff because I always give away the extra goodies on those live streams. Uh, I do make you work for it. You got to stick around for a while during the lives. But um, yeah, it's usually worth it. So stay tuned for those if you want to uh, get any of these. There's usually a knife or a flashlight or something else involved too. So follow my live streams. Follow me uh, on Instagram at LeftyEDC. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about this stuff. I think it's very cool. I appreciate them for sending it my way. I'll be uh, testing some of this stuff out. Maybe you know, hanging this guy on my bag, definitely putting this tritium on my keychain, and I'll be testing the quick releases, so, uh, if you guys watch my, uh, EDC updates every month, which I think I'm due for one here in November, or October, sorry, um, if you watch my EDC updates, I'll talk about this there, because, uh, it'll be on my keychain every day, so, That'll be a good test for it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.